Hi, this video is going to show how to make an AR hand tracking demo application. So it's using a custom build of Godot uh, from the, uh, the sources just to uh, get some fixes that are queued up. So we'll uh, create a new project, AR hand demo. I'll put this in my temp folder. It's also using um, the uh, Godot XR tools um, and a 4.4 beta drop, uh, which should be cut in the next few days. So I've got to download again from the, uh, the master uh, sources. So I'll install that, make sure it goes into the add-ons folder. All right. Obviously, there are some script uh, errors until we enable the plugin. But uh, before that, uh, let's also uh, download the uh, OpenXR vendor plugin. Uh, again, beta 3003, you know, uh, latest one. Again, going into the add-ons folder. And we'll also grab the hand pose detector, the yeah, latest version of that. Again, going into the add-ons folder. All right. So um, we'll go and turn on the, uh, uh, the 440 uh, plugin. Um, I run the XR tools script to enable the open XR uh, layers and then uh, set up the physics layers. And let's just uh, uh, reload to make sure everything imports correctly. All right, so I'll create a new uh, uh, 3D scene, uh, call it main, and save this uh, obviously as the main scene, and make it the uh, main scene of the game. All right, we'll add a sun to the scene, you know, a light, uh, and we'll add an environment. So this environment we're going to modify uh, because we want the background to be transparent. So we'll make it a custom color and drop the alpha to zero. So it'll be transparent when we play. Now the other thing we're going to do is tweak the ambient light uh, just to be a kind of a fixed gray color. That'll work better with the, uh, the AR environment. All right, so now let's uh, start uh, setting up the player rig. So I'll we'll construct an XR origin and build uh, an XR uh, camera inside there. Again, bring that up to uh, kind of 1.6, you know, the average height. Um, let's add the XR node 3Ds for the uh, the hand trackers, so left tracked hand, and we'll set that to uh, to follow the left uh, hand tracker. So make the same thing for the right tracked hand. And yeah, following, obviously, the right-hand tracker. All right. So we'll go to the hand pose detector and uh, grab the uh, the left and right hands and drop those under the nodes. Let's also put these hands roughly where they're going to be. All right. So... We'll uh, make these editable and add uh, the XR hand modifier so the skeleton is driven by the hand tracker as well. So left hand is driven by the left hand tracker and for the right hand, we'll make its modifier driven by the, uh, the right hand tracker. So let's just make sure the nodes are driven correctly. So right hand is located by the right hand tracker and uh, the skeleton is bent by the right hand tracker and left hand position left hand skeleton all right so um let me think okay so we'll add uh pose detectors for the uh the left uh, hand so this is going to uh, need a hand pose set and 
The only pose we're going to look for is the grip pose. So, well, the fist pose. So, I'll put that in there as one being detected. And let's build the detector for the right hand. And we'll copy the hand pose set over. And make sure this is uh, driven by the, uh, the right hand tracker. All right. So there's the pose detectors. Now we just need to make it drive virtual controllers. So we'll need an action set. And the again, we're going to drive it by the same fist pose. And it's going to drive a float uh, grip uh, action. So we'll copy that and we'll, oh, I guess we need to add the, uh, the right hand virtual controller driver, paste that in as the action and then make this uh, drive the right uh, hand pose controller. All right. We'll make sure that's uh, left there, right there. All right. So let's add the uh, virtual controllers. So this will be XR controller 3Ds. Uh, this will be the uh, left uh, virtual controller. And uh, there you go. Add the right virtual controller. All right, so we just need to set up the, uh, the tracker names. So hand pose controller left drives the left virtual controller. And hand pose controller right drives the right virtual controller. All right, that's our virtual controllers all set up. I'll put the uh, controllers roughly in the right spot. They'll move as the game plays anyway. So, all right. So let's add uh, the pickup functions to the uh, left and right controllers. So the pickups, again, are triggered by the grip action. Let's drop the grab distance to uh, just 0.1 meters here. All right. And we think, I guess one other thing we can drop in while we're at it is the start XR script. So this could be a node and we want to turn on pass through when it starts. All right, so I guess we need something to grab. So let's create uh, a new inherited scene, uh, and we're going to inherit from the uh, the pickable object uh, in XR Tools. I'll we'll call this uh, brick, oh no, block actually. Um, I had a mesh instance and uh, just put a, a box mesh in there. Set it 0.1 by 0.1 by 0.1 meters and uh, set up a collision shape. Again, a box shape, uh, same size. But we don't want this thing to physically fall to the ground. There's a few things we're gonna to want to tweak. So let's turn off ranged grab. Um, let's make it so that the second hand can grab the thing out of the first hand. And we'll have this thing uh, start life as frozen. So. Um, let's just save this as block, go back to our main scene, let's add a new uh, node 3D just to hold on to the, uh, the blocks. And let's drag in a, a bunch of them to play with. So let's put it slightly in front of the player. Let's Duplicate another one uh, just above it. Let's clone those guys, duplicate, slide to the left, and duplicate, and slide to the right. All right. So that's our scene constructed. Um, looking pretty good. So let's set up uh, the exports. So 
Let's add an Android export. Um, let's call it Android Meta. Uh, I'll use the Meta loader for this. Oh, need to fix the importing, so we've got correct type of imports for materials. Make it a Gradle build. Uh, the Android build template, we need to get that one in a bit. For now, set the XR mode to open XR, enable the Meta uh, plugin. And we're going to want to force hand tracking, so it's required, and force pass through to be required. That one's looking pretty good. So let's add a web uh, export, WebXR. And we'll turn on mobile support for that. Now we need to paste in. Uh, some uh, code to the uh, the header of this. So uh, David Snowpeck or Snowpeck Games has a tutorial, and uh, in the Maker WebXR for Godot 4, it's got a snippet in here for the polyfill uh, settings for uh, WebXR uh, scripts. So we'll copy those and paste those into the head include. And I think that's all we need for this. All right, so let's install those, uh, the Android uh, build template. And uh, I guess let's try doing an export. So I'll uh, export the Android project, we'll create a new uh, build folder. Uh, Android and turn off the debug. Uh, so, oh, all right. Because I'm building a release build, I'm going to need to put in uh, my key store. It's just I'm just going to copy my debug settings over. Just all defaults. All right. Let's try that export. All right, this looks like it's working a little better. Excellent. And let's do the WebXR one as well. All right. So pop back up, create a uh, WebXR folder, and we'll save this as uh, index.html. All right. Then let me switch over to the headset. All right. So this is the Oculus web browser. Let me just launch the. Uh, the WebXR one. All right. A little bit laggy on the hand grab. I probably should have uh, adjusted the uh, the pose timing. Yep. <laughs> if I keep my hand still, it'll grab it. All right. And here's the AR hand demo for uh, you know the Quest build. All right. There we go. Thank you.